Hey everybody, thank you so much once again for coming into Blitz Reviews. I'm Coop here to break down The Bad Batch Episode 8. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who's been supporting the channel for Hey You Productions, all the countdown shows, uh, all the reviews that we've been doing. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Uh, if you guys are new here, make sure that if you guys ever want to tune in and uh, catch us live, push that bell notification. Uh, push the sub, push the like button if you guys enjoy these reviews and countdown shows. So thank you so much for all the support. Um, <laughs> wow. Let's let's first of all let's talk about the Bad Batch so far as a series. So we we've officially hit the half point mark when it comes to the Bad Batch, and uh, so far I'm loving the series. Uh, Some I, I was um, I, I say uh, in multiple reviews before this, but. Some of the episodes I feel were unnecessary being in the Bad Batch. You know, like the dragon episode with the, the them crashing and they just needed that kind of thing. I don't think they needed that episode. Um, there, But a couple of great episodes. You know, obviously the first episode was by far, I think, my favorite. And then you have uh, the one recently with Wrecker where uh, he, uh, w uh, him and Omega, the, the relationship they have with each other is great. Um, and then this episode that just that that we just witnessed, oh man, <laughs> well, they they brought back one of my favorite characters from the Clone Wars. In fact, I think it would be awesome if he's uh, if if he's going to be showing up down there. Spoiler alert: it's a heat. <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't seen the episode yet, I suppose that you guys um, I actually have a free watch along that I've put up for you guys on Hey You Productions in case you guys want to watch the episode along with me. Um, make sure you go check that out and then come back here for the review. But we, we, we got to get into this episode because we, we, we start off, we've been asking when are we going to get an episode uh, with Crosshair. It's been a while since we've seen him. Right away at the beginning of this episode, we start off back on Camino. And uh, let's let's get into the review. So we we start off with the uh, you know the the classic Camino thunderstorms outside, and then uh, inside he, um, Crosshair uh, just got uh, it goes up to Admiral Rampart I think that's his name, and the Prime Minister are talking to each other, and uh, he's a uh, Rampart saying that he's in control of everything now. So it looks like we're not we're not going to see Tarkin. Um, it looks like this Rampart guy is going to be going to be the main guy for, for the rest of the series, I think. Unless uh, Admiral Tarkin shows up at, like, the finale episode kind of thing. Maybe fires fires Rampart or something like that for not doing a good job. I have no idea what's going to happen. I have a bad feeling. It's just, I, since we're already at the half point mark, I'm already thinking that, so, is this how, I have something, uh, I just have a bad feeling from what I'm hearing so far. It, uh, the the ending is going to be very tragic, so and and obviously it's su such a Star Wars move <laughs> for them to end with. Uh, obviously, uh, the the third movie, uh, I think it was uh, one of my favorite movies. So uh, them them ending in sadness, I think that makes sense. You know, I think they did that with the uh, the Clone Wars as well. So it's uh so who knows? Because does that mean all the clones? Are going to get eliminated by the end of the series? Do you think every clone is going to be every uh, every clone is going to be gone, and then they just bring in regular people? So, I have I, I those are just my thoughts going forward at the end of the series kind of thing. That's that's just my theory. Anyways, I'm I'm going a little bit off track. Uh, we 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 go on Camino. Uh, Rampart and Prime Minister are talking to each other. Uh, Crosshair comes in, says the scavengers say that there's been a, a, a fusion activation, I think, with the, the uh, one of the cruisers out there. So uh, right away, Crosshair says that... Uh, now, R Rampart doesn't take it seriously, you know, kind of, kind of throws off, it's like, send a scout team. Um, and then the Crosshair says, you gotta send more than that, sir. This is Clone Force 99. <laughs> so Prime Minister of uh, Camino. Is, is obviously wants to keep his clones alive for, for projects or something like that, you know. Um, so he suggests to Rampart that he that he's uh, they they're very talented and you should keep them alive for assets. And uh, Rampart says, "I have no time for uh, dealing with rogue clones, so just go terminate them." Is basically what he says. 
So Crosshair gets his team ready, and they're they're off. Uh, <laughs> then we go back to uh, Baraka. So Baraka is, uh, for anybody that's unaware, it's in the game The Fallen Order, um, Jedi Fallen Order. Actually, a really good game. Uh, Baraka apparently is the scrapyard planet where all these uh, all these Republic scrapyards are. Uh, it could be probably for anything. It could be Tie Fighters or anything like that. So uh, I, it's just basically it's a it's a scrapyard planet. And uh, that's where Cal Kestis, one of the Jedi's that are still alive uh, in that era. I have no idea if he's still alive down the road or anything. So, um, but Cal Kestis is on Baraka, but he'd be a kid when, when the, when the uh, Clone Force 99 arrives on Baraka. So, a lot of people were hoping that we'd see a, a Cal Kestis appearance. Um, now, I'm not... Here, here's my thinking. I'm not sure... If they are allowed to do that, unless like EA allows it or something like that, because I'm wondering if EA actually has full control over the Cal Kestis character for their video games. So he's only meant to be um, part of of EA and uh, their their series and everything. So I'm just wondering about that. Maybe that's why they couldn't get Cal Kestis. Maybe. They, it would have been cool to see like an Easter egg or something like that for him. But it's already cool enough they went to Baraka and they wanted to explore more of the planet. Because that's the only time they've actually shown the planet of Baraka was in the Jedi Fallen Order. So that was cool to see the scrapyard a little bit more. Um, and uh, when, we're, when we go back to the scrapyard of Baraka... Uh, <laughs> so it's already great to see Wrecker back. You know, him, him and Omega have such a great, fun relationship with each other. Like a... Like a, a niece uncle kind of thing. It's 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 really fun to see Wrecker just like as this big big kid basically. But <laughs> so he's teaching Omega how because the scrapyard is is full of uh, mines and everything like that, right? So <laughs> he tries to teach Omega. You have to learn uh, how to disarm this if you ever come across one of these around here. So. <laughs> <laughs> so he's trying to he's trying to teach Omega like how to do it, and then and Omega Omega's like, oh, this doesn't seem too hard, and then Wrecker goes, oh really? All right, well here you go. You got ten seconds before we're all blown up. <laughs> he does a little countdown: six, five, and Omega's panicking because she doesn't know what to do, <laughs> and then she cuts a cord, and then uh, and then it starts glowing up, and Wrecker goes, oh, it's obviously not that one. Run for it. <laughs> So they go and hide behind, and uh, it, it, was, it was just a little explosion that went off because it was a smoke bomb. <laughs> Wrecker's sitting there laughing there. He's like, you, you think I'd actually give you a live explosive? I'm not that crazy. And then he does like this crazy laugh. <laughs> Doesn't help his case, in my opinion. <laughs> but Wrecker and their relationship is just great with Omega. Um, okay, so he's also um, uh, with Echo, and I think they were scavenging for a few things. So then they, they start heading back, but they, uh, they catch in the, in the spotlight the scavenger guild. So Echo calls him out whisperly uh, to, to Wrecker saying, you ready? There's three of, them, three of them. And then they start chasing them, and uh, they, they basically ta uh, tase all three of them. And, uh, yeah, I guess they, they, they were just trying to report to the Emperor, or, yeah, the, uh, the Empire where they were. The Emperor. I guess the same person. <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, once they get... So, once, uh, once I think, uh, Echo and Wrecker and Omega all get back to Hunter and uh, Tech and... and and the ship. Basically, they suggest that they have to scavenge uh, the uh, the cruiser for more stuff for armory, basically. So, and then Tech says he's going to go get like the motherboard or something like that for the ship, because basically that's worth more than a weapon. So, they both go the the one goes uh, Tech goes to the bridge to go get the motherboard. The others go to the armory, and it's like Wrecker in a ba in a baby store or a candy store. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a baby candy store maybe. <laughs> so there's all these weapons everywhere, and uh, he picks up this big ass torpedo. 
<laughs> and he's, and he's going to be carrying that for the entire episode. Um, uh, after that, okay, so uh, then Omega is called out to the bridge by Tech uh, after they look for the, all, the, uh, all the weapons. So Omega gets, back, uh, gets up to the bridge and then has, has a nice little talk with Tech about what was, what was the war like? You know, what was the feeling of it? And Tech goes into this explanatory thing about what a war is. About, oh, it's about a, a battles with a bunch of fronts. And, <laughs> and Omega's like, no, but what was it like? And then Tech goes, hmm, well, I just told you. <laughs> and so Tech is, t uh, he's, he doesn't have feelings. He just, <laughs> he just has, he just has facts, I guess, what it is. <laughs> and, and I must say this, for... Um, because Omega then sees a red light, okay, and then he asks Tech what that is. All right, Tech says it's a it's a proximity thing, so it it uh, it's it it's basically an alarm when ships are approaching, and he says basically it's probably just a short circuit. Nope, it's the friggin' Empire. <laughs> There's ships that are flying over his head. Tech is wrong again. I don't know, like Tech is very like smart, but he seems to get a lot of stuff wrong lately. <laughs> I will say that you know, for being a very intelligent guy, he does get a lot of stuff wrong sometimes. So uh, then he calls down to Hunter that the uh, that basically crosshairs here, and the Empire. Um, and then we go back to the uh, we got uh, Camino where the Kaminoans are actually have the the uh, the Prime Minister is talking with her uh, with the the uh, assistant there. And they basically say that they need just Omega because uh, there's obviously something very special about Omega that we don't know about yet. So we're, we're halfway through the season. Maybe we're going to start getting hints. But now, uh, so, so here's what happens is uh, that the Kaminoans have been the ones that have been hiring bounty hunters apparently. So Fennec Shan was obviously hired by the Kaminoans. And now they're saying that, uh, so they were giving hints that the bounty hunters are, are trying to chase them down kind of thing, right? So it's, it's, it's the Kaminoans that are setting the bounty hunters for Omega. Um, Crosshair uh, finds a Hunter on, uh, and the others on the cruiser uh, we, when we go back to Baraka. And he basically, uh, Crosshair says, basically make fun of them for being scrappers. <laughs> and then uh, you know, and then so Tech uses his little gadget thing he's always carrying. He makes one of these giant cannons goes off, and then uh, so that 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 gives him time to get away. And uh, what happens next? Oh, actually, before that, there was actually a scene that actually scared the crap out of everybody because um, Hunter and Crosshair were talking to each other, and then and then Omega. Um, basically, try to remind Crosshair of what he said to him uh, at, at the uh, at, on Camino, and then all of a sudden Crosshair just goes, "Aim for the kid!" Uh, right there, I'm like, "No, fuck you, asshole!" <laughs> that has got to be the oh, he is pure evil right now. That ship is just pure evil. Oh, when, when as soon as he said, "Aim for the kid," I'm sure everybody at home was probably pissed off like I was. <laughs> um, so they get away from Crosshair from the cannons and then they actually have to escape uh, the cruiser through their engine system so their big ass engines that they have they're, 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 they're basically walking through the ion uh, engine and it's a huge engine too so <laughs> Tech is trying to describe to others about hey this uh, engine was uh, pretty cool modified and it's made from all this and then Record just cuts them off saying Ah, nobody cares. Shut the fuck up, basically. <laughs> Poor Tech. Poor Tech has all of his knowledge, though. Uh, I, I wanted to hear more. So, um, Let's see. And then, okay, so they try to escape the engine, and then actually Crosshair actually surprised them, and they, he was already waiting outside for them, saying, Ah, oh, no, caught you. You're surrounded. So then all of a sudden, Crosshair sends somebody to start the engines at the brig. So the engines are starting to run and uh, th they have to figure out something. Tex, tex, tex says, 
Let's make a giant hole with these prox let's let's make a giant hole with these mines. All right, let's set these off in a giant circle like. So that means we uh, are sent down uh, and instead the engines are going to expand larger. So this is what happens is they all get these uh, mines and they blow up this uh, this ring that's around the engine. So they, they drop down in this ring and then that exposes the engines huge, which then Crosshair is actually in like him and his partners are a little bit far away, but the engines go really, and these are big blasts again we're talking about, right? So the, <laughs> the engines all of a sudden, they make this huge blast and it starts cooking Crosshair's face, basically. Oh man. Oh, Crosshair just got wrecked. He's his face is all burnt. It's not. It's not like Anakin Skywalker burn. It's just like basically um, his uh, his uh, commanders uh, come up to him and uh, have to wrap him up in the in these uh, bandages and they put a mask on his on his thing. So it sounds like he's he's talking through uh, uh, through basically a. Um, um, a mass non-stop now so he has broken leg oh man crosshair got messed up man so in the meantime while the uh, while the ring dropped down with the uh, clone force 99 uh, hunter and Omega go on their own uh, because they're they're trapped on the other side so they start heading towards the ship and then when they get to the ship they notice that all the troopers that were already waiting for them there, already knocked out, or I think they're killed, one of the two. Probably killed. <laughs> because we have my man showing up here, all right? One of the best Clone, Clone Wars characters I think they put out there. Cad Bane is alive, ladies and gentlemen. Looking all fresh in his Western, in Western outfit. Still blue, still kicking. He's got his robot sidekick with him. Oh, man. He just slowly walked down and said, just hand over the kid, basically. And um, Hunter said, no, I can't do you. And who, who'd you get hired by? And uh, Bane says, no, I can't tell you that. That's, that's, that's uh, confidential. So, um, and then bas basically they do a little standoff, a little Western standoff, you know, classic, you know, Mandalorian standoff style. <laughs> and then Cad Bane, you can't beat Cad Bane, Hunter. He shoots him right in the armor. So, right away, everybody's freaked out. I was freaked out because I don't know if uh, Hunter was died or uh, uh, no. He I, right away, I was like, no, he, they can't do him like that. Cad Bane, that, that, he got him in the armor, so he should be fine. So Cad Bane wins the uh, the shootout between him and Hunter, and I was surprised because Hunter, I thought, senses everything. You can't sense Cad Bane. <laughs> so. And there you go, and that's uh, and that's that's how it goes. Is basically the guys show up and they see Hunter on the ground. Um, he's got he's got he's got a bullet, or he's got a he's got he got they notice he got shot in the chest, so they take him on the ship before the troopers catch them. And uh, then Hunter says, uh, "A bounty hunter got Omega. We got to go get him." And that's how the episode ends, ladies and gentlemen. The return of Cad Bane. Surprisingly, everybody didn't know if he was dead or not. I, for one, I'm so glad that this guy is still alive. You know? <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be cool to see him in the next episode because obviously we're going to see him again, right? I wonder, I wonder, all right, if Cad Bane and Fennec Shand are going to be doing this little, little uh, face-off against each other. You know, these bounty hunters are going to try and uh, try and claim the bounty for themselves kind of thing. So that's what I think might be coming up soon. I don't know, but I want to hear from you guys. Uh, this episode for me, uh, I really enjoyed this episode. Um, hmm, I'm going to go give this one, once again, uh, you, got a, you got a special appearance by somebody. That was a surprise, you know. Um, this, this had everything, you know. It had uh, it had action. Um, it got a, a special appearance. You know, it got uh, it got a sad part in it. I think this was a great episode. So, I think I'm going to go with the nine.
I think I'm going to go with a 9 on this one. I'm thinking maybe around the 8, uh, eight or 9 range, but I'm going to go with a solid 9 for this one. So, 9 out of 10 for Episode 8. So far, the entire series, 8 out of 10, I'm giving it right now. Uh, some episodes, I think, were just unnecessary. Um, and uh, I'm just glad that that's, these recent episodes have been really picking it up for the, uh, the Clone Wars. Or not Clone Wars, though, the Bad Batch. <laughs> I might have to go watch those Cad Bane episodes again because those are awesome. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give us a like and, th and a thumbs up and sub. And uh, make sure you go check us out on patreon.com slash Productions. Also check out t-shirts at um, belowthecollar.com slash coopthecomedian. Go get yourself a t-shirt if you guys want to support. And uh, thank you so much, everybody. You guys have a great day.